Hello, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Babies, I hope you got your joy today, babies. Well, to my singles, I know some of you out here are really feeling lonely and depressed because you don't have nobody in your life. You want somebody in your life. And it's a real battle for the believers that are single. And I'm going to tell you why. Part of the battle is you feel like there's something missing from your life. You feel like something is lacking because you don't have a partner in your life. So you have so much anxiety in you wanting this mate to come in your life because you're ready to get married. You think you're going to be so happy when you get this partner in your life. And you just see your life in a different way when you get somebody in your life. But I'm here to tell you, babies, it's not going to come from a person. You need to build that relationship with God. So many of you are ready to get in a relationship with another person, but you're not ready to get in a relationship with the God you say you serve. Get in your word. Pray fast. Seek God. Just by doing that, it's going to bring a level of peace, a level of joy, a level of happiness within you just doing that. See, you got so much anxiety and frustration because you're so focused on this mate coming in your life. Because you don't build this whole case in your mind that when my mate come, everything's just going to fall into place. That this person coming in your life is going to be so glorious that you're not going to have no problems, that they're the end all to everything, that they're going to bring you so much happiness that you're going to forget about everything else that's going on in life. But believe me, babies, just because a mate come in your life, trials ain't going to stop. You're still going to have trials. You're still going to have battles. There's still going to become things that's going to come in your life that's going to frustrate you, especially if you have not dealt with it in this season of your life. Most people that are single, that's their main focus. And that's why some of you ain't really ready for no mate right now. Because you're really going to get that person in your life and make them an idol and make them a god. You're already doing it now. They're not even in your life. That's all you can focus on is when somebody comes in your life. You're out here on the hunt. You're out here searching and seeking for somebody to love you because you think that's the all to end all in your life, getting somebody in your life. And not that you shouldn't desire somebody in your life, not that you shouldn't want to be married, but you can't make an idol out of it. You can't make a God out of it. Because so many of you right now are frustrated and angry. You don't got prophetic words. You don't heard people give you good wisdom and knowledge and understanding on being still and waiting on God. But you don't want to hear that. Because all you know is, God, you ain't moved for me. You're so frustrated. But have you looked at yourself and said, Lord, what do I need to do with myself right now? What do you want me to do in this moment, God? What do I need to change about myself to prepare me for my mate that's coming in my life? Because when you get frustrated and anxiety and stressed out and angry because God has not moved in this area, what's going to happen when you get a mate and things come up and crop up and you're waiting on God with your mate? for God to do certain things. You're going to get frustrated in them areas too because it's like a baby throwing a temper tantrum in the store because they can't get that candy that they want or get that toy that they want and they fall out in the aisle and they flipping all out, kicking and screaming because the parents ain't getting them what they want. That's how some of you look right now waiting on this mate. You're kicking and screaming. You're mad. You're angry. You're going out here trying to make it happen. Then you're going to wind up with this cursed relationship because you didn't allow God to do it. God said what he joined together, let no man put asunder. So there is relationships that God will join together. And there's relationships that the enemy joins together. You know, you could go out here and meet somebody in the world, even somebody that claiming salvation. And you could be clicking and vibing with a demonic spirit. You could be clicking and vibing with somebody that's totally not what God sent for you. Because out of your frustration, out of your anger, you open up a door. And the enemy knows that you're frustrated and you're angry, that you're ready for somebody in your life. So he'll send that counterfeit in your life. And it'll look so real. Because in that moment, you're ready for somebody. You're tired of waiting. You're frustrated. But babies, I'm telling you, be still and know he's God. He knows that you want somebody in your life. He wants to give you that good gift. But just like everything else in life, 
It is a process. And some of you don't want to go through that process. Some of you, you look at your families and your generational line. A lot of people in your family don't have bad marriages. A lot of people in your families don't have divorce. A lot of people in your family don't have children out of wedlock. It's curses in our family lines. So you don't tell God that you like, Lord, I want that relationship that's sent by you. But you want that relationship sent by God, but you're not willing to go through the process. You want that microwave syndrome. You want it to happen right then. But it's a process. Everything in life has a process. It's just like putting a seed in the ground. Just say you want to grow some corn. You put the seed in the ground. You ain't going to go back in the morning and see that seed grow up. It's a process that has to go through in the ground before it starts to grow up and out. And even after you see it grow up and you see the stalk there with the corn, it still ain't ready for you to eat it yet. It's still got to be processed outside of it growing up out of that dirt. So everything has a process, babies. Wait on the process. I know a lot of you right now, because during this season, a lot of people get depressed because they're by themselves. You know, they don't lost loved ones. You know, a lot of different things. But depression is at an all-time high during these seasons, during this time. Depression is going on all year long, but during this season, it's really high. So I want to come to encourage you, babies, knowing that God is with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Press into God. You know, everything out here in society is screaming, get a man, get a woman, get a man, get a woman. But singleness is not a death warrant. Singleness, embrace it, enjoy it. You know, this is your time. Like Paul written, this is your time that you can draw close to God because you don't have that mate to worry about. And you have to build that relationship with God before your mate come. Because what you go to, if you can't do it now by yourself, when you get a mate, you definitely not going to do it because it's going to be all about that boo, all about that husband, all about that wife. You're not even going to worry about pressing into God. So if you can't take that time to do it now in your singleness when you're by yourself, why you think you're going to do it when you get a mate? It's not going to work. God wants you to press into him. He wants to He wants to have a relationship with you. And until you learn how to have a relationship with God, you're really not going to know how to have a relationship with another human being. Because it begins with your relationship with God. How you love him? How do you respect him? How do you respect God? How do you honor God? How do you love God? How do you follow his, his direction and when he's talking to you? You know, and this is why a lot of women, when they get a real man, because a lot of women had Ahabs, a lot of women have Ishmael. They don't have the Isaac, the child of, of, of the promise. They don't have that man of the promise. But when you get that man and woman of the promise, you got to handle them different than you do Ahab and Ishmael. It's a whole totally different ball game. So God has to prepare you to be able to deal and handle the men and women of God. And how is he going to do that? By taking you through the process of learning how to deal with God, how to respect him, how to honor him, how to listen at him. Babies, I tell you, God loves us. And he 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 fills your heart. He came to heal the brokenhearted. I just want to encourage you today because I know it's a lot of singles out here that are lonely, that are crying out, where is my husband? Where is my wife? But when you look at the big, big, uh, look at the world, the big world out here, a lot of people are messed up and broken. Now they're not even ready for relationships. And if you really want somebody that's whole and healthy, not perfect, because even when you get your mate, you're still going to be some things that you're going to have to work on. That's why you got to be in that right frame of mind with God so you can walk in love and have patience, kindness, gentle, long suffering. You're not easily puffed up because all that's got to come into play when you get your mate. You got to utilize them scriptures and you got to walk them out and live them out. But, babies, I just want to encourage you, as I said before, to know that, you know, the anxiety and the frustration and all that that you're feeling is because you feel like something is lacking in your life because you don't have a mate. Nothing is lacking. You have all that you need in this moment. All that you need in this moment. All that you need in your life right now. In this moment, enjoy this moment. Embrace this moment with God. Have that one-on-one -on -one time with God. 
have that one-on-one -on -one communication with God. He wants to have a relationship with you, an intimate relationship with you. He wants to fill up all those voids that you feel so you won't have those anxieties and feeling lonely. Because whether you believe it or not, you can have a mate and still be lonely. You can still have a mate and feel like something is missing. Especially if you're not healed and whole. Because no matter how good that mate treats you and loves you, if you're broken and, and, and you're, you're wounded, no matter what they do, you're never going to feel complete. You're never going to feel whole because you're broken. It's just like having a cup with a hole in the bottom of it. You steady pour water in there. No matter how much water you pour in there, it's running out the bottom and never get filled up. And that's how it is with a broken person. So you want to be a whole person. So when God sends that person in your life to love you and care for you, that they won't be just pouring water in an empty cup and instead of running out. So babies, know this, that happiness don't come from somebody coming in your life. It's already got to be a part of you. Stop thinking that another person coming in your life going to make you complete. You're already a complete person. You already have the love that you need right now in this moment. God loves you. And I break all anxiety and spirits of loneliness off you in the name of Jesus. Because it's nothing but a weapon that's formed against you and it shall not prosper in the name of Jesus. Allow God to fill you up. Fill you up. The enemy wants to attack you and have you stressed out and worried and feeling lonely and anxiety. I tell you, so many people out here that are lonely and hurting. And if it's not you, look around you. Look around you. Your family members, friends that you have, people in your church, people at your job. You know, you might just have to say hi to them. Give them a hug. Tell them the goodness of God. There's so many people around here that are lonely and stressed, walking around in anxiety because they feel like something is lacking in their life. And all that's lacking is your relationship with God. Getting that intimacy with God. Fall in love with God. Doing his will. Doing it his way. i fill you up. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful week, wonderful day. Enjoy this moment knowing that God is with you. Love you, sugar wooga. Smooches.